Hello. So let's talk about fixing seams. And as the title states, this is purely about fixing seams with the model, not textures. So an example of that would be if you got a new tattoo and then all of a sudden your face was a different color than your body, or I should say your body is now a different color than your face, this will not help with that. This is more usually caused by doing things like upscaling or changing outfits to another body or sculpting. And the usual culprit is that your normals have gotten changed. They no, they no longer line up. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going in and fixing these normals that are wrong on the neck here. And we're going to make them line up smoothly with the head. So let's go ahead and get into Blender. All right. So here we are. I have the, the same seam here. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to click the body, go into edit mode, and I want to make sure I'm in x-ray mode here. You can click this button. It's kind of like two squares um, to toggle it on and off. Or you can also use the um, shortcut Alt-Z. And there we go. That works too. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press C for circle select and then I'm going to select just these very top vertices like that. And now I'm going to create a new vertex group by clicking this plus sign. Now you can leave this named group if you want. I just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to call it fix. And then what you're going to do is click this assign button. So it assigns all those vertices to the fix vertex group. Now I'm going to essentially repeat the process with the head. So we'll go here, go into edit mode, C for circle, circle select, and then paint across here and get just the bottom vertices and now make a new vertex group call it fix and then click assign now that that's done what we need to do is we need to put a data transfer modifier on essentially the problem child so in this case i know the body is what's causing the seam um, you may or may not be sure, you know, if you're upscaling or moving a, an outfit to another body type, that's the body is probably going to be the issue. If you're making a new face sculpt and you get a seam, then you might want to put the modifier on the face. Um, it just kind of depends on what you're doing and you might you might have to try things if you're not sure um, to figure out which which one is the the problem and where to put the the modifier. So again, the modifier goes on the problem. So we're going to click the body and then go up to modifiers, add modifier, data transfer. And then I'm going to go here. Well, First, we'll do this. We'll set our source as the head. And then I am going to click face corner data, custom normals, nearest face interpolated. And finally, we're going to set the vertex group. So this is where we're going to pick that fix vertex group that we selected. So now it's only going to apply the the fixed normals to just that vertex group instead of doing it to the whole body. Like if I uncheck this, you can see it, everything changes. 
but when I go back to just fix, then look, the seam's gone. So that's what we're going to do. And then I'm just going to apply this with control A. And now I'm, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me make a mod pack. I already have one made. Um, but you know, the usual thing, export this as an FBX. Well, just the body in, in this case, um, you know, import it to text tools, make a mod pack out of it. So I already have a mod pack made. So we'll go, we'll go back to the game. And if I go ahead and open up Penumbra and I enable this mod called fix and I redraw, boom, no more, no more seam. It is all fixed. It's that easy. So I hope that this was helpful. Um, I hope it'll, you know, maybe fix some problems for you so you can have a little more fun. And uh, that's going to do it for now. Bye.